Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. Ugh. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Oh shit, Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Just... And no filter needed before I post this. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. My poor Donnie Darko. How could anybody want to break cute little Jake Gyllenhaal? Ta-da! I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. Like Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hey, Kate. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't do anything to help. But you're just like everybody else here. It's not true. I wanted to help, but... But... Whatever. It's done. Oh, yeah. If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Wells. Oh, yes. I have an actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. Is that why you hassled Kate yesterday? I took a photo of that moment for surveillance sake. Soldier, you don't have the facts. You think I'm a hypocrite because I want cameras around here for the safety of the students? That'll take more than surveillance cameras. Like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little Shh. Are you going to take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? Except I have proof. Here's a photo I took of David and Kate yesterday. That's not... not proof. Hold on. This isn't a courtroom. But I feel it would be in the best interest of Blackwell and this situation to put you on temporary leave. We will continue this conversation later. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. 
Doesn't everybody here? I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little shh. Are you gonna take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? And he should take the word of somebody who harasses students? Max, I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Now, if you have anything else to say, No way. That's not mine. Oh, of course not. I'm sure Chloe gets all the best shit, right? I'm sure she gave you good friend right- I just wish you could have stopped Chloe from getting busted by David for that joint. I know. But it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention... She probably stole one of my guns. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man. He just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but don't be so harsh on Chloe. I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. Save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It's very stupid. I'm sorry. It surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. I needed you more when I called to actually talk. That's when I needed a friend. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. I won't rest until we find out the truth and somebody pays for this. This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. I won't rest until we find out the truth. God, that's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. So much hypocrite.
Hey, Max. I, I saw you go up on the roof to try to help Kate. I can't believe she jumped. I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. I have to go. Especially since Kate's parents aren't going to bury her here. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. <laughs> it didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just... act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Hey, Bunny. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. So much hypocrite. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Ooh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. Presto, Chloe's gun. Should I give it back to her? I have a terrible present for you. Ugh, an ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. I might regret this, but I can't let Chloe hurt someone. Or get hurt. 
You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max. Who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her? I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? Nice breakfast. David, you're you back already? That's what happens when you lose your job as head of Blackwell Security. What happened? What you would expect to happen in this PC college bullshit age. The principal takes the words of lying stone students over a veteran and law professional. Ugh, again? This isn't the first time you've gotten in trouble there. Well, now it's the last time. I'll get a lawyer to sue their ass. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. I can't believe you got fired. No. Of course I can believe you got fired. Did you threaten some poor student with a stockade? He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are Supermax. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Holy shitballs. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. 